We are firstly going to demonstrate the 3-in-1 Technique Plus. These are 100 loose plaits with thin wefts and they look like this. In each of these plaits are two plaited pieces of hair and I'll show you knotted in a loose weft. That's the way it looks. As you can see, two of the hair has already been plaited. And what we are trying to achieve here is to plait in these two hair with another additional hair to make three. So you can actually make three or more plaits. The way we're going to, de in, in fact, the way we're going to demonstrate this three-in-one technique is to use a dummy model to show how this can be achieved. And here, as you can already see, we, we flattened the outline section of the front of the dummy's hairline. You plait them individually with some loose wefts of hair. I'm going to stop there, get the one out. And you plait them to the right, to the edge of the side of the hair, as you see. And once that's done, we go to the next stage, which is now the three in one. So as you use a piece of hair, you get a piece of hair from the edge and section it out first, and then you get a piece of the three in one, and get another piece of the three in one, and you knot them together so that they don't move and they're easily used and then you use it to plait inside the dummy head you plait it in and what we've achieved here is five plaits and you finish that out as you go along so you continue your way until you get to the end of the plaits and then you get another piece of hair if you want to achieve more than five plaits, you get more than two of the weave or um, three in one. You get another one. And then you get another one. And as you can see, you're adding more hair in. And you can achieve more plaits in one. Like I've got six plaited pieces of hair and I'm going to make another extra plait to make it seven. So, however how much, however much you want to put in, you can add hair as you go along. So you add this one in again, and you continue until you get to the edge. Now we're going to leave the dummy to show you a completed walk of hair on a live model who is just sitting right beside the dummy. And that is the finished work of the three-in-one technique style. And that's how it looks. And as you pack it together, the hair looks as if it's been hours, has been spent, or days even, on it. And that's the way it looks when it's finished. You straighten it out. Straighten it out together. I'm going to bunch it with an elastic band and let you see the back before we show you our wrap styles. So that's how the hair looks. And this should take not more than an average of five hours 
or less if you are you have another person working with you. And that's how it looks from the back. We are now going to show you some simple wraps that you can use to finish off the three-in-one technique and also the brandy. The brandy also looks like this when you finish. So whoever wants to learn a bit of a wrap can use the technique we're going to show with the three-in-one, with also with the wrap and also with the Janet. I'm just going to show you two basic wraps. And I start with um, letting the hair fall over her face and her sides and picking a middle section of the inside of the hair like this picking the middle section right and then we're going to do a jumbo platen of this middle section get it out of the way And then what I do is wrap the rest of this jumbo plait in one and secure with a rubber band like that. Right, that's the way it looks. Come back again. And now what we're going to do is to wrap the edges of the plaits and we're going to start on my right side or on your left side as you're looking I pick the hair I'll show you as we go around from my right section I straighten it out straighten it out, straighten it out and then wrap it securely onto the middle bone that we have found shaped with the jumbo braid we did earlier. Wrap it round and as you're wrapping you make sure you pull in to get that tight effect. Like this. And then with the rubber band I'm going to secure that. And that stays in nicely perfectly. And now starting on my left side which is this section Instead of, uh, now, instead of going from my right section, I go left. And from my left section, I come back right to form a kind of V at the back. And wrap it tightly, like initially before. Wrap it securely. And then tuck the ends of the hair into this bun. Tuck it and wrap it up as you go along with your fingers and hold it together and get a little piece of elastic band and hold that and that holds it in and then we're coming to the front section I'll take my left side of my section and probably your right looking at it from view you straighten it out as well again and then you wrap it nicely as in the other two occasions round the bone in the middle wrap it very well and this time around I'll probably use a rubber band or some pins to help this stay solid. I just pin that in. Get another set of pin. I pin that in again. And then I'll take the, the front section, straighten it out again. And as I'm going, I'm wrapping it round again onto the middle bone as we did before. 
And as you're doing that, you're tightening and firming the middle. And then we get some more pins to keep it in place. And then the last and final piece of hair will finish up, do the finishing touch. And this side has to be really neat with the loose ends all nicely tucked away. And as you're doing it, you're, you're finishing off. And then that's what we call the a French wrap. You can see from view. It's neat and very lovely. And looking at the sides, as I can, you see how the hair finishes. Now that is the French wrap.